In this video, I'm going to show you a passive pressure that you can use out of the 245 odd that is going to enable you to get some pretty significant A gap pressure if they send five out. Now, this is a blitz that I like to mix in. It's more of a coverage based blitz. It's only going to send, I think, four people, but we're going to be able to have pretty good coverage out of this and we're going to be able to get some really good pressure if they give us the look to do so. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, we are talking about the nickel. 245 odd you can find this formation in the chicago bears defensive playbook and if you want to get my entire 245 odd defensive ebook i'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video it's really truly one of my favorite defenses ever because of the different types of pressures and cool looping pressures that you can create from this formation not to mention the fact that against gun bunch it poses the best pressure in madden 22 for gun bunch you're going to be able to get consistent pressure uh, with a lot of our different blitzing concepts and you're going to be able to have some of the best coverage in the game because the 245 odd allows you to get eight eight secondary players on your field now the play we're going over today is the lb cross three show two and if you want to get my nickel 245 odd defensive ebook like i said there's a link to it in the description now as far as a setup goes and how we're going to set this up all we're going to do is we're going to base a line and then we're going to spread our defensive line that's literally it and the blitz is going to be completely set up and you're going to stand kind of right here with your user and what you're going to see is we're going to get this nice little edge rush if we don't get the um if we don't get the a gap pressure now normally you will get the a gap pressure uh so just bear with me for just a second uh we're going to go ahead and crash our line to the left as well and that's going to help kind of with this a gap pressure so again we're going to kind of hover right in here and as you see we're getting this nice little edge rush and we're getting some looping pressure from the a gap now another thing that you can do from this defense um, is to go ahead and zone off that defensive end on the back side that's just going to help kind of open up some space for us to be able to get this a gap pressure in so you see here we're going to drop that backside coverage in so we can mabel the bunch side and as you can see that looping a gap pressure only sitting four people typically is going to shed um, oftentimes it's going to get you a nice little instant shed and if it doesn't get an instant shed, uh, normally you're going to be just fine because, like I said, you're dropping so many people into coverage. So, again, here's another example. And what you're going to see, snap the ball. And right there, our got pressure got picked up. We got a little quick disengage, and we're able to get the pressure in. Now, again, the setup is really simple. All we're doing is we're base aligning our defense. Now, if you want to, you can just run it just literally like this. Like, don't do anything whatsoever. Just base align your defense. And what you'll see is you'll oftentimes get these guys fighting through the A-gap, as you saw right there. Now, another thing that you can do with this defense is uh, go ahead and, like I said, you, you can uh, shift your defensive line. So you could pinch your defensive line, or I apologize, spread your defensive line just like this. And then what this is going to allow you to do is, again, open up this gap right there. And as you see, that time we got nano detected, but you see the pressure coming through the gaps. That is one of the hallmarks of this effective defense. And um, let me show you one other thing that you can do with this. And that is, again, to zone this guy off. You're going to see here we drop that guy into that contain. And then your job is to hold left trigger right on the center just like this. And as you see, that's where we get that looping pressure um, disengaging and coming across the formation. Now, again, let me show you the setup one more time. Base align, we're going to go ahead and spread our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line to the back side, and then we're going to drop that defensive backer out the edge, and we're going to contain off the edge there. So as you see, this is what your play looks like at the snap, and as you see, you're going to be able to get this amazing four-man looping A-gap pressure right at the quarterback. So let me show you your setup one more time. You're going to base line, spread your D-line, crash your D-line to the left, you're going to drop the linebacker on the left side of the screen, Chandler Jones, into a purple zone. And then lastly, you're going to QB contain. And you're going to hover kind of right in this area right here. And as you see, you're going to get this nice little four-man looping pressure that is going to force your opponent to have to block somebody. They're going to have to block a running back. They're going to have to do something. And uh, the beauty of this pressure is that it's so simple, it's so effective, and at the same time, it's really useful for a lot of different situations depending on what your opponent is doing. Again, you can Mabel out of this fully Mabel coverage, fully capable Mabel coverage. And then as you see right there, if they do block a running back, it is going to pick up the blitz. But then we have some other pressures from the 245 odd that we talk about in our defensive ebook on this that is going to show you exactly how you're going to be able to consistently create uh, 
even better pressure concepts than this. Now, what I like about this defense right here is it gets my user down in the gap, which allows me to be able to use her, you know, for the run and stuff like that. And then as you can see, the pressure just consistently disengaging, shedding. Again, you're only sitting four people. Um, if you want to blitz your user, I will say if I want to blitz my user, then I can actually drop both of these guys out. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. So you're going to see, whoops, let me do this. And then let me give me contain. And now you're going to see here, I'm going to drop my user. So I'm only blitzing th uh, three people. And as you'll see, we're going to have a pretty good shot at getting this disengage even better with just sending three. So you can fully Mabel on both sides. Let me show you that one more time. Again, we're going to go over the LB cross three show two. We're going to spread our line. We're going to crash our line to the left. We're going to drop both of the defensive ends on the outside into a zone. And then we're going to QB contain and we're going to use her. We're going to put our blitz, our user on a blitz. Let me show that one more time here. You reset the linebackers. And then as you can see here, this is pretty much the pressure concept that we've created. And if they're, if you're getting good, uh, if you've got a good nose tackle, oftentimes you're gonna get that little disengage for an easy sack. So again, that's a three man passive pressure out of the two, four, five odd that allows you to Mabel coverage on both sides of the formation really making it difficult for your opponent to pass the ball. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to get the rest of my two, four, five odd defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. And you can get that entire defensive guide for just 15 bucks. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, if you want to get the guide, head on down to the description, click that link. It'll take you right over to the website and we'll get you all squared away.